Hi guys, welcome to today's class. This is Ana Khan, your math master teacher from Vedantu. And today I have brought for you all linear equations in two variable in just one video. So I will be covering up the entire chapter of linear equation in two variable in just one video. All the concepts covered over here. And after that, we will be doing the NCRT exercise question as well in another video coming up. All right, guys. So let's begin and let's learn about linear equations without wasting any time. Now, suppose in our real life, we have a situation where we have five pencils and five pens bought together for rupees 75. And the price of uh, each pencil is given rupees 5. Now, here we have only one unknown quantity and that is the cost of pen, right? So, here we have uh, five uh, uh, pens and five pencils and the total cost is 75, right? So, how are we going to calculate the value of each pen? First of all, we know that the value of every pencil is 5 rupee and the cost of pen is unknown. So, let us form an equation for that. Now, as you can see over here, we know that if the cost of one pen is 5 rupees, sorry, one pencil is 5 rupees, then the cost of 5 pencils will be 5 into 5, 25. And we will assume that the cost of each pen is y rupees. So that 5 into y plus 25 is equal to 75 will form the equation to find out the value of the price of each pen. And this is linear equation in one variable because we have only one unknown quantity, right? Yes. So this is how we have formed the linear equation in one variable. Now, let us see the definition of linear equation in one variable. So, as you can see that the standard form of linear equation in one variable is ax plus b is equal to 0. Basically, it has only one variable and the degree of that variable is 1 also. And ax plus b is equal to 0 is the standard form. For example, x minus 5 is 0 and minus 4m is equal to 7. So this will be a linear equation. You can take another example m is equal to 7 by 2 or anything else where we have only one variable and the power is also 1. Right? Now, uh, this is linear equation in one variable. So what scenarios do we have where we get linear uh, equations in two variables? Now imagine that neither we know the cost of pen nor we know the cost of pencil right both are unknown so in such a scenario obviously we will assume that the price of one pen is x rupees and the price of one pencil is y rupees because both are unknown over here right and we will form the equation 6 into x for 6 pens and 8 into y for 8 pencils and the total cost will be 84 so 6x plus 8y will be 84 and this is linear equation in two variables with two unknown values right so a linear equation with two variable is having uh, two variables each having power 1 x to the power 1, y to the power 1 and the standard form will be ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 where the coefficients of x and y are not equal to 0 that is a is not equal to 0 and b is not equal to 0. Got it everyone? For example, 6x minus 5y plus 2 is equal to 0 is a linear equation in two variable. Minus 4m plus 1 by 3y is equal to minus 1 is a linear equation in two variable once again. Okay. Now, um, we all know that every equation has a solution. Now, what is a solution? Solution is basically the value of the variable for which the left hand side becomes equal to the right hand side. So here we need to know the values of both the variable x and y that or whatever variables you have taken up, right? Now, um, for example, we have an equation with our 2x plus y is equal to 7. Now, in this particular equation, what are we observing? There are two unknowns x and y. 
and we need the value of both of them to check if LHS is equal to RHS. Now suppose I am putting X as 0 and Y as 7. I am getting LHS is equal to RHS. X is equal to 1, Y is equal to 5. LHS is RHS. X minus 1, Y is equal to 9. Again LHS is equal to RHS. So I have observed over here that for many values of the variables x and y, I am getting the left hand side equal to the right hand side for all these situation. Therefore, we say that solution of a linear equation is infinitely many. Now, if you have not understood, let me show you with example over here. If I put x as 0 and y as 7, what will I get? 2 plus 0, 0. 0 plus 7 is 7. 7 is equal to 7. That means LHS is equal to RHS. Similarly, if I put any other value of X as 1 and Y as 5, what will I get? 2 into 1 plus 5 is equal to 7. So it is 7. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. 7 is equal to 7. Again, LHS is equal to RHS. So, for many values of x and y, we are getting the left hand side equal to the right hand side. Right, bacho? So, just like this, we have proved that solutions of a linear equation in two variables can be infinitely many. Understood? Yes. And for many values of x and y, the left hand side will be equal to the right hand side of the linear equation. Now, um, we have talked about the solution of the equation, but let us see what kind of graph will be obtained for a linear equation in two variable. So we have already learned in the chapter of coordinate geometry, how to plot points and how to plot a graph. Now here also what we will do is, we will take ax plus by plus c is equal to zero, that is our linear equation in two variable, and we will find out the values of x and y for which our left hand side is become equal to the right hand side. That means we will find out the solution of the equation. Since it is having many solutions, so we will try to find out a few of them and we will plot them on the Cartesian plane, join them with the help of pencil and scale and we will form a straight line which will be the graph of linear equations in two variables okay so after plotting the points just join them to form the straight line graph okay for example here we have taken an equation x plus 2y is equal to 7 and as you can see the coordinates or the points which satisfy the equation are 3 comma 2 5 comma 1 and 7 comma 0. Now what we will do? We will simply plot these points on the graph and we will join them to form a straight line and hence the graph of the linear equation x plus 2y is equal to 7 will be obtained. Got it? So this is how we will draw the straight line graph of the linear equation x plus 2y is equal to 7. Right? And remember the graph of linear equation is always a straight line. So you will never get anything else. Right? Now, in some scenarios you might observe that the linear equation graph formed is passing through the origin what is origin the center 0 comma 0 now if you don't want to plot a graph and you just want to know whether it will pass through origin or not what will you do simply you put the value of x as 0 and y as 0 in the equation if the LHS is becoming equal to RHS that means definitely the graph will pass through the origin if LHS is not equal to RHS, it will not pass through origin. So simple, right? Now, there is another situation possible where your graph may be parallel to the y-axis or the x-axis. Now, here we can see that our graph of the form y is equal to b is parallel to x-axis. What does that mean? 
if we take a uh, if we are plotting a graph for an equation where we are just having the equation as y is equal to 3 or y is equal to uh, minus 4 then in all such situations after plotting the graph we will observe that the given line is parallel to the x-axis okay so uh, any equation of the form y is equal to b will be parallel to x-axis and similarly any equation of the form x is equal to a will be parallel to the y-axis where this x is equal to a line will pass through or you can say intersect x-axis at point a comma zero right guys so this was all in this chapter which you had to learn it is a very small chapter with very few concepts so you can easily easily score in this chapter now if you want to learn ncrt questions then follow this channel i will bring for you guys ncrt exercise question solutions very very soon so subscribe to this channel immediately also bacho uh, you know that Vedantu is the leading edtech organization of India with highly experienced teachers who know how to make each and every concept super duper easy for you all, right? So I am also a mathematics master teacher at Vedantu and we have SST, English, Chemistry, Biology, uh, Mathematics, all the subject teachers over here at Vedantu. And we will make all the subjects super duper easy for you. Now, what you have to do to enroll in these courses? You have to simply join in the Vedantu's Pro subscription in which you will get online classes by the super awesome master teachers of Vedantu, live in class doubt solving in each and every class, live in class quizzes, polls, leaderboards and milestones, regular test series uh, basically every 14 days every month for your practice with report card and um, all india test series for your practice before annual exam assignments for subjective and objective type of questions class notes pdf study material that is tatwa book pdf which is Vedantu's very own study material provided to you under this subscription. Now, how you can enroll this? It is simply available at just rupees 8100 with AI Live course for one full year. Pure saal ke liye aap 8100 rupees mein enroll kar sakte hain. And if you use my coupon code SKE Pro you will also get a 10% card discount. So enroll today itself with the link given in the description of the video. And don't forget to use the coupon code SKE Pro. All right, guys. So yes, I hope you enjoy today's lecture. If you want to attend NCRT exercise questions, and if you want to know their solutions, subscribe to this channel and do give a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. You can also follow me on Instagram at sanakhan underscore Vedantu to know more about me. Thank you everybody. See ya.